So how do you spell relief? Well, for bus riders who frequent the Alapai Transit Center, the relief is spelled O-P-E-N. As KITV4's Andrew Pereira reports, the city is opening restrooms tomorrow that had been off limits. It's a dilemma bus riders have faced ever since the Alapai Transit Center opened in August of last year. When nature calls, where do you go? It's horrible because they only allow, you only can zip down there to the emergency room if they'll let you through there and get in to use the bathroom. There's no facility around here. And across the street, the service station, not going to let you in unless you buy stuff. Restrooms are available, but only for bus drivers. That will change Saturday when the city opens the Lua's for everyone, seven days a week. From 5 in the morning to 11 at night for about 200 buses that come through here and 2,000 bus users. Bus rider Judy Wilkes says that kind of relief is long overdue. I think that is super. I think for, oh, I'm thrilled about that. That's the best thing that happened. There's my bus. Whether it's your bus or a bathroom, when you gotta go, you gotta go. These are people who are coming from out, to, out of town, from as far away as Waianae and Haleiwa, who have been holding it for a long time. Bathrooms here used to be cleaned only three times a week, once per day. That will now change to seven days a week, three times per day. And the really good news is that we are concerned maybe it costs more for our security contract. It's, it's part of it, so that's not going to cost more. But the city will spend $48,000 more every year to keep restrooms stocked and clean. Crews will also tackle other areas of the transit center. In the past, bus riders complained of dust and bird droppings on benches. That's good. I mean, it's the first time I've seen it clean. Now, the total yearly cost of keeping bathrooms open and stocked at the Alapai Transit Center is $54,000. The mayor believes it's worth it and hopes more bathrooms will be installed when the city's new traffic control center is built at the same location. Live in the newsroom, Andrew Pereira, KITV4 News.